I was, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing because what his command about our company, about the group, about ourselves. First of all, he need to clarify one thing. Kurt, he mentioned about the uh, our group, our church as a Kurt. Yes. I want to tell him, I want to ask him, what is the definition of the Kurt? Does he know about the Kurt? What is the definition of the Kurt? I am very clear what is the definition of the Kurt. The Kurt, meaning of the Christian world, if you not believe the God, if you not worship the God, but worship the man, worship the idol, that is the Kurt. So I want him to clarify and clarify what is the definition of the Kurt to us. That's number one. Number two, he called us as fugitive, as a learner. Do I look like a learner? <laughs> if I'm a learner, do I need to come and in front of the media? Do I need to do this? Everyone who knows us know about the great fraud that I always in here. All of our member is working. But he described us as a fugitive, as a criminal. I can accept that word. He must be apologized. And as you can see, I don't go anywhere. I'm here. Last time you were here, I asked him, if I did wrong, you come and arrest me. I'm here. Why do you describe us as a criminal? I want to challenge him. So these two, he had to be answered. So please deliver my message to the Honorable Mr. Mr. Tiko Duandua, right? So this is my message to him. Now, I want to do a formal statement from our company, on behalf of our company. Greeting to people of Fiji, including our local family members, customers, partners, and the community at large. My name is Daniel King, and I am the president of Graceful Group in Fiji. At around midday today, the Minister for Home Affairs, Immigration, Honorable Pyoti Kondua gave a media statement concerning the six South Korean nationals being members of the Graceful Group in Fiji who have been a target of removal from Fiji. Since then, Grace Road has been bombarded with passion from many business associates, colleagues, and well wishes on the circumstances leading up to end surrounding the Mr. statement. It is correct that two Grace Road members, namely Byung Jun Mi and Bam Sap Shin, have been removed, have been removed from Fiji yes or no. We have no prior knowledge and or information about the removal process and are genuinely surprised by the sudden stance by the police and immigration. Our lawyers have successfully obtained a court order last night to forbid the removal of two members and have since obtained the order to forbid the removal of the remaining members, including myself. We have further instructed our lawyers to take active steps to review the process undertaken by the police and immigration, which we believe is heavy-handed and subject to legal challenge. We find ourselves at a juncture that demands forthrightness and transparency. I wish to address this matter candidly, both to provide clarity to all of our stakeholders and to reaffirm our unwavering commitment to the value upon which Grassroot was founded. First and foremost, let me unequivocally state that we hold the highest regard for compliance with all laws and regulations, including those governing, governing immigration in Fiji. We take this matter extremely seriously. And we have at all times wholeheartedly cooperated with the all authority to ensure that investigations are both comprehensive and impartial. From the outset, Grace Road has been dedicated to upholding the highest ethical standards in all of our business dealings, 
and we will continue to uphold this principle throughout this process. We understand that this investigation and removal process may raise concerns and questions among our local family members, customers, partners, and the community at large. I want to assure that our commitment to transparent and responsible action remains unwavering. We are dedicated to maintaining open lines of communication and we will provide updates as the situation unfolds. Our local family members are the lifeblood of our organization and their welfare is paramount. We are actively, actively collaborating with our legal counsel to ensure that all our local family members are treated fairly and in strict accordance with the law during the investigation. Our company continues to function without interruption and we remain steadfast in our support for our local family members throughout this challenging period. We value that trust that our customers and partners have placed in us over the years. Rest assured, we are taking all necessary steps to safeguard the quality and integrity of our products and service and to minimize any disruption that may arise during the course of this investigation. Moving forward, we are committed to work closely with the relevant authorities to swiftly and judiciously resolve this matter. Our cooperation remains unwavering, and we are optimistic that a fair and equitable resolution will be reached. In the interim, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our local family members, customers, and partners for their continued loyalty and support. Grassroots mission remains unchanged, and we are resolute in our belief that together we will navigate through this challenge. On legal advice, I will not be able to answer any question directly relating to the removal process, which is subject of the uh, said court action, or may become relevant to any new court action that our lawyer pursue. Thank you for your understanding and steadfast support during this period. Sincerely. Thank you.